Hey guys, well, WD here. We're back for more act raising. I just want to show you something real quick. Be sure to make sure that you can build here, down these four sections of, or these, around this southern mountain wall, because uh, if you don't do that, you will skip, you will pretty much be skimping out on a lot of population. See how you can build in these spaces? Yeah, I just want to let you be aware of that, because if you don't do that, you're not going to get that nice big population that you need, because... But, uh, that's just one, one thing I want to tell you about, so let me do the rest of the, uh, population grinding, and we'll be back with, uh, the nice little status screen. So hold on just a moment, and also we'll be back at normal, too. Hold on just a moment. Yay, I've reached the maximum level, guys. Basically, the level... When Whenever you get the angel to saying this, I'm very happy with your improvement. Your level is now 17. Your HP is 24. Sir Wall it appears you recover your original strength. Fuck yes. So yeah, basically, if you hit that that marker, basic or at that point, guys, you have you are at the maximum level that the game has intended you to be at. And looks like I've also hit the hit the maximum population here. And of course, there's a nice little crater in the center there. Not my fault, the population just up and died there. Yeah. Okay, but nevertheless, guys, I think we're all ready, but hold on just a moment, because, well, more importantly, I think I still have a few things to do before we get ourselves a move in here. Do -do 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 you want to act exact you definitely want to do this before you do anything else. Do -do -do -do. Because we still have a couple more things to do in Norfolk before we get head to the final area of the game. This is one of them. Basically, just clearing away this lake slowly but surely. Making sure that this the people notice that, hey, it's not a patch of ice. It's actually a nice, beautiful looking lake where we could maybe do some deep sea crab fishing. Fuck yes. Do -do -do. Right, so let's do that really fast. Like guys, uh, basically, the here's one thing I would like to point out to you: the best way to uh, oh, looks like they already are, are taking care of that lake. What's up, people? The master, I think is the semi balance of a lake near underneath all the ice. We plan to operate a fishery here in Norfolk. Fuck yes! Thank you, my master. The people now can now live in peace. Thank goodness. But yeah, basically they're gonna do their thing and. But one thing I would like to point out to you, notice how Itos had a population of seven, er, 778 earlier? Uh, well, guess what? If you decide to go to a different area, uh, and do your own building elsewhere, when you come back, Itos will actually have more houses. Let's, let's just take a quick look before, before we do the last bits in Norfolk here. Let's go all the way down. What's up, Itos? How you doing? Let's see where exactly might have happened. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing this. Basically, if you if you disappear, Itos will actually build or the the people will actually build structures outside the boundaries of the road. So that's uh, from my understanding. That's why I learned that it would be called phantom construction. Basically, the people will build places when you aren't looking. So that's kind of a nice thing for the game to do that, and that's basically one of the ways to get the max population in Itos, the official max population, where you basically will have that nice round, uh, nice uh, 802 as opposed to 778. So Itos is pretty damn big for how much little space you have in that area. Norfolk, I believe, is all said and done. I think Cassandra is like the easiest place to max population. Oh, the only way you can mess that up, basically, is to... The only way you can mess up Itos, or not Itos, Cassandra, is to just not screw, or just not do the score well enough. That's it. I mean, you don't even have to worry about fucking size. So, nevertheless, uh, <clears throat> we're almost pretty much done with this game, guys. We've gotten the max population I was looking for, 400, or 4,600. And, uh, let's see, we also got the, uh... We almost got all the items that we were looking for as well, like all the spells. But I think we're still on the process of trying to find another one. Here's one way to get another extra life. It's a really easy way. And 
the thing is, that it's very subtle and you wouldn't really know about it unless it, if you're just fucking around with lightning. It's like, well, I'm gonna clear out your fucking shrine, see what that does. Wait, what? They're reacting to that shit? And basically, they'll drop to these, I'm very sorry, my master, but I kept something from you. I found a strange jewel a few days ago, but didn't offer it to you because I was so fond of it. I promise to never do anything like that again. I present this jewel to you as an offering now. Please forgive me. Yes, I'll forgive you. Just give me the damn thing. So yes, they were hiding a fucking extra life from me the whole damn time. And they were like, Oh, we found this a while ago, but we just didn't bother to give it to you. God, I'm sorry. So yeah, basically that's <clears throat> the thing about that game. But nevertheless, pretty much this down's all... We're almost done with everything, but right now we gotta wait for this thing to... F or, or this uh, fishery boat to find something. And after you spend a little bit of time here, the, they finally stumble upon the last spell in the game. A scroll was found at the bottom of the cold lake. We presented to you as an offering. Thank goodness. So what you just want to do is just take up that offering. <coughs> Fuck yes. And it is the magical light spell. And the magical light spell is... Uh, it's okay. But c compared to magical... Aura or Magical Stardust, it's it's a step down, basically. I mean, the nice thing about this spell is that it's a very good clearing out of enemies, or clearing out enemy spell, because it will definitely do the damage that you need to see, but against bosses, this spell is pretty much as good as Magical Fire, so that's the problem with this spell and why I wouldn't totally recommend it, but <clears throat> I'll show it off just for uh, I'll show it off in this final area just for your amusement guys but nevertheless we are done with pretty much all the simulation and everything else I mean as you can see here the populations are all maxed out and of course blood pool still has their wheat for sale man though I really I can all I can say is I really fucked up on blood pool and F Fillmore basically you can get populations higher than what I'm getting there in fact blood pool should hit have the same population as Cassandra, from my understanding. And Bloodpool, or Fillmore, should have the highest of 914, but fucked up on the structure, damn it. Nevertheless, though, we are done with this game, almost, guys, so let's head to... Let's head back to the Sky Palace and get ourselves prepped up for the final battle. Uh-oh. Death Heave. This place is... I can't really say much about this place, because I'm going to be I'll spoil too much. But, um, Devheim is pretty much the hardest level in the game for a number of reasons. Bas basically, you definitely want to get those extra lives. Because it's going to really count for the what you're going to have to do here. Let's just going to say the game is going to throw everything at you in, in this level. Uh, but before we go down, I'd like to take a little bit of a break. So hold on just a moment while we get ourselves prepped up and let me... S I'll select Magical Light real quick. Yes, I wanted to take Magical Light Angel. Of course I wanted to show off this wonderful spell. Basically he'll say, with this magic you can consume monsters with a ray of light from the Sky Palace. You would think that would be stupidly powerful, but it's not. I mean, I wish it was, but I can't really say much for Magical Light. I mean, Magical Ore is like the ultimate spell if you want damage on the bosses. That's all I can say. So hold on just a moment as I take my quick little break, and we'll come back to this as soon as possible. Alright guys, and we're back, and it looks like the Angel guy's been waiting patiently for me to come back so I can kick some Death Helm ass. Or Death Heme. I don't know, I do not know how to say that. I hope I'm not going to call it a death line every five seconds now, but nevertheless, this is the definite final area of the game. There's nothing after this, and this game does not disappoint with the final area, because this is pretty much the hardest area in the game, because it is, for instance, a boss gauntlet, boss gauntlet, boss gauntlet. Yeah, this is pretty much what you're going to have to do. You're going to fight up powered up versions of the bosses that major bosses at that. And as you can see, this guy's moving a lot faster. Let's show off how crappy Magical Light is. Uh, yeah, see, look how crappy that is. I'll probably have much more time, you know, using Magical Ore. So what I'm just doing here is just duke it out with the freaking Minotaur. Don't bar dodging, because you 
the fact that he's moving twice as fast means that his attacks are twice as hard to dodge, so there's no point, really. I mean, you're gonna have to- you're gonna definitely lose lives here anyway, so you might as well start on the Minotaur, helping that out. The next guy you could possibly beat without getting hit, depending on how well you treat him and how well you react to his quick projectiles. I mean, they're incredibly fucking quick. And of course, this is the best place to get the most damage in on him, when he's on those lower platforms. Oh, fuck you, damn it. It's gonna stay. Mmm. And of course, the top platforms are the most annoying spots. You little fucker. And I think the way you're the position, depending on the position where you're at, depends on where this guy is warping. Like, if you're in the center room, he'll do that shit. Like so. If you're right here, he'll just sit, he'll use that attack. So he's trying to get the best angle of attacking on you. Well, sometimes he'll just be an idiot warp up there to troll you. It's like, oh, I can do that shit too, you know. So as you can see, let's see if he does it a third time. Okay, if I stand on this platform, he warps there. Okay, good start. Let's see if I stand right here, what does he do? Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Hmm. Punk? Yeah, so basically, depending on where you're standing in this bout and in this room, depends on where this guy's gonna warp. So keep that in mind. Of course, this is probably where I'm gonna be dying soon. Oh, forget. Well, luckily, this guy is not being a very big genius of a wolf right now. Fuck. Oh, wow, that's kind of disappointing, guy. I mean, you could have, like, maybe done your little wall jump of death. That would have nailed me, stupid. But nevertheless, that's the second boss. As you can see, not too tough. But now we got the third guy, which is easily the easiest of the four, of the six bosses, in my opinion. Basically, if you follow this strategy I have right here, you will not. You will probably kill this boss without getting hit. Try to get your hits in. If he bounces off the wall and doesn't drop down, you can just keep repeating this. Yeah, this is pretty much what you want to have happen. The boss won't even attack you, and God, of course I'm fucking up. If he does drop down, get your hits in, jump after the fifth hit, repeat this, and you'll jump over the arrow while hitting the boss repeatedly. So yeah, this boss pretty much sucks ass on the, in this boss gauntlet. He's like done before you know it. And I love the back rock drop on all these little battle scenes because it's like, there's a fucking solar eclipse in the background, damn it. That is, that is pretty epic all in itself. Now we got the fourth boss, which is twice as hard now because he does twice as much damage and he's twice as fucking fast, so that's gonna make for a harder fight. See, I'm already dead. So yeah, that definitely, this is definitely the most upgraded of the bosses. The fact that two damage makes a huge ass difference. So you're gonna have to kind of predict what this guy's gonna fucking do on you. Do do. Use your don't be afraid to use magical light or magical stardust, depending on which one or whichever spell that you brought. I definitely prefer the aura. Because that spell does wonders on these bosses. And if you ever just if you ever just give up on the fucking taking of damage of such, just cake whaling on his ass. And he's done. Fuck yes. Good job, the master. You got four guys down and you got two more to go. And then we got this next fucker, the snake-like guy. Still creeping the shit out of me. Okay, and we got this guy. What I was just doing is dodging his immediately when he when that lightning bolt like comes out of his stabs. Because if you don't, you're getting hit. That's incredibly quick, and I'm trying to find the exact position where he might drop these down. God, you're fucking being a douche today. Drop down the damn platforms as expected. Okay, you're just fucking trolling me now. Stop. Okay, that's one platform. This is probably where the other one is. Thank you. This is probably the safest way to get your hits in, because if you don't take... Oh, dick. If you don't do it this way, he's going to make me a harder fight, because... I would suggest this, but look what happens if you try. You get hit on the second hit, so it's not safe. While this boss is not very damaging, the fact that you want to keep yourself alive for the later battles might be an indication that you might want to live just a little bit longer. Stop doing that. That is the creepiest thing ever, Falk. Okay, stop. Why do you always have to pose like that, damn it? Okay, I'm not into that. Stop. Fucking drop the You are a fucking troll. Stop doing... 
to stop it, for the love of God. You know what? Fucking magical light upside your face, bitch. God damn it. Okay, let you drop on me. Oh, now you do it. Yeah, the positions, or the, the position that you have to be at is very fucking picky now. You have to, like, stand nearly under the, under this guy, or else he won't do, fire to do that lovely move of dropping down the platform so he can wail on his ass repeatedly. And, of course, I believe the spikes on the ceiling will still kill you. And you're fucking dead. Good riddance, you fucking snake-like bastard. God, Indiana Jones would love to be seeing that part. And we're done with that guy. Now we have the Ice Riven. This guy is probably gonna fuck me up because I have, like, almost no health. And I have a shittier spell. Fuck. Yeah, look at that. That is not even fast enough. This is why I do not like Magical Light, guys. It is just a pile of shit when it comes to actually doing what you want. Magical Aura is like, Hey, instantaneous attack! You're fucked! Oh, shit, that stings. So yeah, the way to beat this guy without having good magic spells, like, for instance, Magical Aura or Magical Stardust, you would just have to basically just get behind him while he's shooting out his ice bolts, and then you have to run away from him while he's swooping. Fuck. Because that's pretty much the only way you're going to get dodge that attack without getting hit. And I'm just having a fun time not hitting his ass. So yeah, there's magical lights. So if I die, I'm gonna blame it and never use it again. Oh shit, fuck. So yes, this is pretty much how the fight would go. You would try to not get hit- Wow, I'm dead again. Shit. So yeah, you would try not to get hit by the ice bolts, and you would try to run away while he's swooping at you. That's pretty much all I can suggest for this guy. Because this guy is fucking hard without magic, as you can see. Fuck. I mean, there's barely anything that you can do except getting hit by his fucking bulky-ass body while he swoops. Shit. Maybe you can, get, you can possibly get a hit in, but it's risky, as you can see. Fuck. Okay, you're just gonna keep doing that like a troll, aren't you? Ass. And I'm dead again. Damn. Okay, yeah, chances of me being the final boss have just dwindled to nothingness. Fuck. It wouldn't help to jump to if need be, but apparently that doesn't help me out either. Fuck. Yeah, so this boss is much, much harder without the lovely magic of horror or something. Do, 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 do. Oh, you bastard. Mm, punk. Yeah, like that. Oh shit. So just try to stand at the center of the arena. Oh, shit. God, you're a fucking troll without magic. You know that? Oh, God, I'm gonna die again, am I? Do, 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 do. So I'm gonna probably die a slow, painful death here, considering I'm just getting my ass kicked, and that was pretty epic, but pretty failish. Damn it. Yeah, see how hard this guy is without magic? This is why I always like saying, just use magic, you win. Because it, it'll just save you a lot of time and pain and misery. Do -do -do. It's just kind of, you also kind of hope that he just keeps using this attack, so that way you can like have a chance of dodging it, as opposed to like most other attacks. Do -do 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 -do. Oh shit, here comes the swooping. So just focus, when he just swoops, just focus on dodging if you can. At least at this difficulty. God, the ice block, or like the little ice shards that do four bars of damage? Fuck. Dude, 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 oh god, more swooping. You gonna keep this up, buddy? Yes. You gonna keep this up, buddy? Yes. Fuck you. Thank you. Oh, damn, man. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna probably die soon here, shit. So yes, as you can see, the boss gauntlet will exhaust all your lives if you have the wrong fucking spell. You know what? Just kill me. Thank you. So yeah, don't... More of a story, don't bring magical light. You'll fucking die. And of course the angel's like, I'm sorry, Waddler, you suck ass, but I'm gonna give you hope and... Or hope for you to win again. Alright guys, so next time I'm gonna take on this gauntlet the right way, with magical aura, or magical stardust. That is what I would suggest for this gauntlet. Magical light is just too damn slow. And it's just too damn slow for doing anything, really, as you can see. I mean, I tried using it on the Ravern, it didn't work. I tried using it on the Minotaur, he jumped up in the air and dodged it. So that's why I wouldn't suggest saying using that much. 
It's just a nice little trinket. Ooh, laser beam! Alright guys, so thanks for watching, have a great day, and adios.